Well, in just two days, ballots for Montana's primary election will be mailed out to all registered voters. And one of the contested and most crowded races that isn't getting much attention is the battle for Montana's open U.S. House seat. Today, as part of MTN's ongoing series on statewide contested primaries, Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison looks at the Democratic candidates for the U.S. House. Montana's only U.S. House seat is open because incumbent Republican Greg Gianforte is running for governor and the race has attracted plenty of candidates. Six Republicans are in the contest and two Democrats. Kathleen Williams, who lost to Gianforte in the 2018 general election, and Tom Winter, a state representative from Missoula. Williams has raised more money than any other candidate, $1.65 million, and is a clear favorite to win the Democratic nomination on June 2nd and compete against the Republican nominee and a Green Party candidate this fall. But Winter has waged a scrappy campaign, presenting himself as an underdog who will stand up for the little guy. He says since the coronavirus pandemic hit, he's been helping constituents deal with it, just as he would as congressman. What we're trying to do is, is show that you know, now we know what you look like when the chips are down. Now we know what you're going to do as a leader for the community. Williams, a former state legislator from Bozeman, says she's been doing the same. I'm spending a lot of time talking with Montanans, um, making sure they're okay and seeing what questions they have, um, trying to serve as a resource to them. Williams has laid out many proposals on our website for various issues, such as allowing people 55 and older to buy into Medicare or fighting consolidation of farms and other ag businesses. Winter has as well, saying he'd support a single payer health system and student debt relief. At a debate two weeks ago, Winter also said he's one of the only Democratic state legislators to win in a mostly rural district and can connect with rural voters this fall. Williams talks often about how she offers a less partisan approach and how that's needed now in Washington and can win in the general election. This type of situation reminds people that they want principled, independent, solution-oriented leadership in Congress. That thought is actually uh, in the front of a lot of people's minds because it reminds them that Washington, D.C. really isn't that far off. And neither is the election for this U.S. House Democratic primary contest or its counterpart on the Republican side. Tomorrow, we'll take a closer look at that six-person contest. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And once again, ballots will be mailed on Friday to all registered voters in Montana. And there is still time to register at your county election office if you've not done so already.